Right now, every $1 is 20 times the entry towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. So head on over to lmpgear.com because time is running out and somebody's got to take home this 73 Power Stroke. Might as well be you. Hit the link, buy something on the store, and you're automatically entered to win. Good luck. guys we're going to be doing a video here with Rosine today those of you who watched the video uh, pro I think it's been over a week about two weeks ago now actually we put the tow package on Rosine you can see the tow package is all bolted up right there in place uh, we had to cut those inserts those little little slashes through the roll pan so it would fit into position we do have our trailer wiring all hooked up. We did put the hitch on for the two inch ball. So although I'm not expecting anything to go wrong, I think everything's gonna be totally fine. I've got grade eight hardware reinstalled for the hitch. Everything is torqued down as far as it would freaking crank. I'm not suspecting any issues or anything complicated, but I think it would be kind of nice to actually see this truck pull something. And it's not gonna be a big load. It's gonna be a 14 foot single axle lawn care utility trailer pulling possibly four wheeler in the mower, but we're gonna get to hooking this thing up right now and get to towing the first ever trailer on video between Rose, between my wife Rosine 24 vs YouTube channel and my YouTube channel. Nobody's ever seen this truck pull a trailer, so this is gonna be I mean, I don't know, to me it'd be kind of fun. Let's get the old Rosine 24V fired up here. It's about 90 freaking degrees out, so I don't think I really need to still let the grid heater cycle very long. And then we're gonna get to working on some food plot stuff over at one of the properties here, and the first thing we're gonna be doing is weed killing some trails to some stands. And although I committed myself not to posting a bunch of outdoor stuff on this channel anymore, if you guys wanna go check that stuff out, it is Brotherhood Outdoors. The link is always in the description below to the Instagram and YouTube page related to that kind of content. If you guys wanna go see that, go check it out. We're actually giving away a deer hunt giveaway for this upcoming season. It's a late season hunt. You get to choose between the month of December, January, and early February when the deer are herded up in this place. It is freaking packed with deer, bucks, does I mean, it's just, it's freaking loaded with deer. And we're giving you the whole hunt, everything included, travel, lodging, meals, all budgeted out. We give you funding for all that stuff. I mean, you get a brand new crossbow that comes with it. So regardless whether you get a deer or not, or for some reason you can't make it out, you're still gonna get something out of the you know winning of the hunt. But of course, we want to have you out here. If you can make it out, that's that's what we wanna do is get somebody out here to hunt with us and have, have that experience because it is gonna be freaking epic. I mean, we're talking when we were hunting in late season, it was unusual if you didn't see between 20 and 40 deer a hunt in late season, you were like, something's wrong. I mean, that's how freaking awesome it is. And actually, one time last year, I saw about 100 deer out in front of me at one time. Of course, I wasn't shooting does and I was being picky with a buck, you know. And there's a lot of deer, so if you guys wanna come out and hunt, go to the other channel or just hit the link in the description below, lnpoutdoors.com. Buy anything on the store, you're automatically entered to win that hunt all included in everything that I just listed up with it. Right now I think there's I think there's a, about this many people entered to win the hunt, you know. It's not it's not going to be like a huge thing. We're not marketing it real big, but it's going to be a fun experience. So if you want to come out and hunt with us, that's something to take into consideration. 20x entries for the hunt do end though on June 14th. Also when our OBS Ford giveaway ends, Quick plug on that, last three days, I believe, for the OBS Ford giveaway, and then that is gone. You can win the OBS Ford plus $5,000 in cold hard cash, and then that giveaway is gonna be gone on June 14th. That giveaway is done, and it is out of here. So if you wanna get entered for that, hit the link in the description below, buy anything on the store, and you're automatically entered to win.
So we're all loaded up. We got the zero turn ATV, minerals, boots, backpack, spray, saws. Probably the most level spot we're gonna find. So let me let me see how it looks. level but uh, it's about as good as I can get it short on straps right now too first time ever pulling anything behind Rosine I'm confident Rosine but it does make me a little bit nervous <laughs> understandably so I guess I don't know why towing with something for the first time always makes me a little bit nervous not because I doubt the truck can do it, but just because every vehicle seems to have its small quirks, and this guy's in a hurry, so. Every vehicle seems to have its small quirks. You usually find out about them at the worst timing, so that's why towing makes me nervous, because it's one of the worst times you can usually find out about stuff. The other thing is, too, this tow package was off of Rosine for almost two years. Actually, this is the first time I've ever installed a tow package on a truck, which I don't really think there's anything I could do wrong as long as I use the same size bolts that filled the holes where they're supposed to be and got the highest grade bolts I could get from the hardware store, which were the grade 8s. Everything should be fine. You know, just one of those things. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And you know the other thing that could make me nervous about driving this truck and towing with it? Not only is it the first time I've ever towed with this or ever seen a trailer behind it, even though it's not much. This is also the only truck that I've ever experienced death wobble in, and it happened three times within about three miles. And this is several months ago before we had the front track bar. I think it had new bolts. They had new stuff put on the track bar and stuff cranked down because apparently there was some stuff that had come loose. But that could be part of the reason why I'm nervous. You know, first time towing with it and one of the last longest trips I took with this thing, I felt like it was the end of my truck career because I, I was scared to death. I'm not even gonna lie. Going 70 miles an hour and you lose control of the vehicle, pretty terrifying stuff I'm not gonna lie so far so good driving just fine nice and smooth it actually it actually feels better with that couple thousand pounds behind the back here softens up that suspension a little bit you know and you know I was giving Reagan the hardest time once we had this roll pan put on because whenever like whenever we would have our current giveaway truck given away and we didn't have something to tow with or the Cadillac was, you know, getting service or whatever. You know, we, we do pull the small lawn care trailer around a lot with stuff on it and not as often, but still fairly often, we're pulling around the 20 foot car hauler. We're always pulling something. Throughout the week, I bet once or twice a week we have to pull something somewhere, even if it's nothing crazy. I'm like, oh, well, it'd be nice if we had a truck with a tow package sitting in the arena, you know, cause her truck's always sitting in the arena with no tow package and a roll pin. A three quarter ton truck with no hitch on it. I'm really glad this worked out and we got this thing on because you know, it, it it really is gonna come in handy having this truck with a hitch on it. It just makes it so much more usable. Well, we did make it to where we're going and uh, it, actually, it actually towed very nice, very smooth, wasn't bad, even though the trailer was at a little bit of an angle. Didn't seem to hurt anything, didn't get any kind of weird swing in the trailer, everything seemed great. Now I gotta unload uh, the trailer, get to doing some mowing, some property work. If you guys wanna catch the property work and the deer management and all the stuff going on with the hunt that you guys are gonna win, Definitely stay tuned to the Outdoors channel. But anyways, I will catch you guys back here in a bit. We did some towing with Rosine last night. Nothing crazy, but she pulled really good with the few thousand pounds that were behind her. I'm guessing the zero turn might weigh I don't know, between four and 600 pounds, I really don't know. The ATV, about 700-ish pounds, trailer might weigh, let's just say 1,500 pounds, maybe, maybe 1,200 pounds, so not a whole lot, but I just wanted to do something to get the tow package used on this thing, do it a small test, just see how Rosine does with this 
gigantuous lift and a little bit of a load behind it. But we're also gonna be changing some things on Rosane. We haven't done one of these in a long time. I used to have like a personal truck that I would just keep and work on little by little like on the side with the giveaway trucks and I haven't done that in a long time and this isn't gonna be like my project for, for me. No, I'm gonna film it on my channel but this is of course my wife's project, her truck. So we are getting her input on what she wants and what she's okay with and then going to proceed with what she is approving. This truck does need some stuff. It, it, some stuff it needs, some stuff we just wanna do differently and we're gonna get into that right now. First thing we're gonna be getting rid of, obviously there's not a ton of weight, but there's enough weight behind the truck to make it squat just a little, little, little bit more, like an extra inch or two maybe from the front. But we're gonna be getting rid of the big two and a half or three inch spacers in the front, at first when, you know, when we put the lift on the truck, we were thinking, oh, you know, it's a it's a five inch, you know, lift. It's gonna be five inches in the front, five inches in the rear, you know, so we're still gonna leave the spacer, that way it'll still sit level. Apparently not. The way the lift kit worked, the one that we bought, it was actually five inches in the front and then just enough in the rear to level it out. Therefore, it's actually about an inch and a half higher in the front than it is on the rear with no trailer hooked on. Like when it's actually sitting level and you take a tape, it's about an inch and a half higher in the front than the rear. And we would rather it be the opposite. We'd rather flip that and have an inch and a half lower in the front than the rear. And that way we also have better drivability. Hey, when you've got a trailer hooked up, especially a trailer this small, it's not gonna look like it's squatting. It's gonna still sit you know, pretty freaking darn level. The other issue too, is it does put a lot of tension on the front drive shaft with that extra little bit in the front only because of how high the truck's lifted as it is. Like if you're doing a smaller lift, that much difference in the front really wouldn't make a big difference. When you're talking, you know, seven and a half inches or eight inches of clearance in the, you know, suspension in the front and you're running a stock drive shaft and all that other stuff. Stock front drive shaft, it can bind, okay? And this one, when you're in four wheel drive, you can feel a little vibration like there's a little bit of rubbing going on and I don't like that and so what we're gonna do is take that front spacer kit out it shouldn't be that hard I can either do it in my shop probably or you know if I have Devin's help we can probably get it done much swifter since he's got you know lifts and all kinds of crazy equipment at his disposal. We gotta do that, that's gonna be one of the first things we do is get rid of that. We're also ditching the 24s and the 35 by 1550s. Now I know there's people that love that look, Reagan really loved that look as well, but here's the thing that I told her. It really is just, it is a, it is a lot of rim. It is a very, very heavy setup. That wheel and tire setup is, it's heavy. It is a big setup and it makes it very hard to get into a lot of places. It ain't got hardly any sidewall. I mean, the tire's so wide that it still kind of helps with, you know, keeping from curving your wheels much, but for the most part, it's still like, there's still not much sidewall to it. And what we're actually gonna be going with is a 20 by 14 setup, so still a 14 wide, but a 20 inch wheel, not a 24. So we're going down a couple sizes, but still doing a 35. It's gonna be a 35 by 1350 or 1450. And of course, Reagan has a custom grill for this thing we got to get paint match thrown on the truck front bumper we're gonna be ordering a new front bumper getting that paint match and that thrown on the truck unless we end up going with a chrome fourth gen because she's she's on the fence if she wants chrome or paint match bumper I mean this is my thoughts you guys let me know if you're paint matching like the tail light bezels the mirrors the grill, I mean everything else. I personally don't think keeping a big chrome bumper would be the way to go, um, but maybe that's just me. I feel like it would look better, you know, to be a paintable and have it paint match to the truck, but I don't know, it, you know, it's up to her, it's her truck, but that's on debate, but we might go with either Sport or a fourth gen, but either way, it's probably gonna end up being paint matched with everything else, I'm guessing. Truck's locked right now, but all we need for interior is, is having the front seats redone. They're a little bit cracked on the driver's side, a little bit torn in the center console, box which should be done actually today or tomorrow we're gonna put the new sub box in this truck which is leather wrapped to match the interior it's gonna be sick and then once that's all said and done and uh, we get most of the things worked out in terms of what we want we want to fix some paint and body stuff on the truck one of those things being this magnificent roll pan that's definitely the wrong shade of red my bad it's a uh, plasti depth so not the end of the world but it's got she's got a little bit of bubbling starting right here on the fender got a little bit of 
a little bit of rust action going here. Probably gonna end up doing a whole new fender because those ones were aftermarkets and they just don't, they don't look good anyways. The fenders don't line up great. New fender on this side as well. This one doesn't have any rust, but it does have a big dent right here from running 35s on a leveled setup. 35s and 20 by 12s on a leveled setup really beat the tar out of it. And the other thing is too, again, it just, the fenders just don't line up with the doors well. And then on her passenger side door, there's a little bit of rust starting to bubble up right here. And I never saw that the whole time we were dating and married up until the two weeks ago, I think I was walking by. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, there's, it's starting to bubble out right there. And I looked on the inside of the door, it's locked right now, but I looked inside of the door and there's no holes through the other side. It's still fairly soft solid on the, on the lip on the other side of the door, but the outside is starting to bubble, which is not good, so we gotta get that ground down. A Little bit of bubbling going on here. That can be ground down, probably cut, and new piece welded in probably fairly easily. And then we were going to paint match the tail light bezels as well. That way it kind of gives you that sport look with this all seeming like it just flows with the truck and then all you see is the smoke tail light itself, not all the plastics. And then other than that, I think that's pretty much what we're gonna do. And then we might even have the tent taken off and redone. She's got like some bubbling starting in the tent right here. It's just, it's older tent. It's not been done when she got the truck. It was done way before. Before that you can just tell it was either cheaply done or it's just been wore out from over the years and it's just starting to starting to get wore out by the Sun and starting to separate from the glass in a few spots we might actually go 5% all around on this or at least on the sides in the back glass and maybe do like a 30 on the front just picture everything that I just listed this thing is going to look amazing so stay tuned guys new I want to say personal project when I say person I mean like personal to the channel like it's gonna be a truck that we're gonna work on on the channel obviously this truck's not going anywhere so it's gonna be like a truck that we work on piece by piece there's gonna be some other things that we do that I didn't list but those are the main like cosmetic things that you're gonna notice like visually when you see the truck that are gonna be different there are gonna be some other things but those are gonna be the big ones that you notice those are gonna be happening very soon here, we're gonna be changing this thing up. Getting it finished really is essentially what we're doing. Getting it looking good to hopefully hit some truck meets yet this summer. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have not done so yet, enter to win this beautiful Ford F-250 plus five thousand dollars of cold hard cash at lmpgear.com just place an order buy anything on the store as soon as you check out you're automatically entered to win the more you buy the more entries you get somebody's got to take this truck home might as well be you and this is probably one of our highest odds truck giveaways we've done in a long time i guess we just don't have as many ford fans you know i mean it is what it is you know somebody's going to win a beautiful truck but just keep that in mind enter while you can giveaways ending on june 14th thanks so much catch you in the next one peace